Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. Today we're visiting with Power Forward DuPage, and I'm joined by Karen Charvat. Thanks for joining me. Karen, you and I have known one another a long time, but I don't think I really understood what Power Forward DuPage is. Tell me a little bit about it. Absolutely. Well, Power Forward DuPage represents roughly 380 electrical contractors and about 1,700 union electricians here in DuPage County through the IBEW Local 701. That's awesome. I love the name because it's powering us forward. Thank you. We need these guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. And after today's interview, I think um, everyone will have a little better appreciation for what our, um, our electricians do for us. Now you have Hank here with me. Tell me a little bit about Hank's role. Yes. So Hank is our uh, training director. And when I'm out in the community, I usually tell everyone that we represent the best and the brightest electrical talent mm -hmm. in and around DuPage County. Part of the reason I'm able to say that statement is because of Hank. Hank is our training director and um, he, he runs our apprenticeship program. That's wonderful. Hank, no pressure here now. She really set you up well. Tell me a little bit about the state of the art facility I'm sitting in here and, and about the IBEW, Local 701. All right, uh, we moved into this facility back in 2004. We approximately have about 35,000 square feet dedicated to the training space. Uh, the, the model here is to create uh, lifestyle uh, situations that we can recreate in the classroom so we can give a hands-on experience. I mean, they go through a lot of uh, technical training, they go through a lot of theory and a lot of textbook, but uh, we really like to give them the opportunity to get out of those seats and move around and to uh, reconstruct uh, in the classroom environment what's actually happening out in the field. That's wonderful. I don't think many people realize the apprenticeship program that you have here. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's been around for uh, years. Actually, we just celebrated our 100-year uh, anniversary as an um, organization here, as Local 701, back in 2011. Uh, the apprenticeship program is a program that uh, gives the opportunity for the applicant and the participant to uh, actually go out and work out in the field. Uh, and he's mentored out in the field uh, by individuals who have been in the skilled trades for a number of years, so they're passing on what mm -hmm. they've learned uh, and there's a lot of stuff you just can't learn in the classroom. You just mm -hmm, got to get right. in there and jump into the, into the, uh, into the work environment. But uh, the apprenticeship program is a program that allows somebody to go to work immediately, but then they're also going to have a responsibility of, uh, of coming back and educating themselves through the classroom environment. So it's a little bit of classroom and then out in the field at the same time. They go together. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if I have two programs that I uh, run right now. Mm -hmm. I have an inside wireman program, mm -hmm. which is a five-year program. Uh, in that five-year program, they will have to complete over 9,000 work hours and 800 classroom hours. So it's quite exactly. a dedication uh, to uh, complete the process. I don't think many people realize how much training yeah. you're giving your people and that they have when they come into my home to help me out with my electrical problem. We just want it solved, you know? Exactly, and that's why when you and I were talking, I wanted to take this opportunity really to invite the community in, mm -hmm. give them a little sneak peek of behind the scenes, really at what our apprentices go through in order to become electricians when they're finished with the program. That's awesome. And well, we're going to get a chance to go into the classroom and see what it's all about, which I'm really excited for. Thanks. Well, I'm excited to get up there. All right, the first classroom we're going to introduce you to today is the motor control classroom. And this classroom, it's a hands-on opportunity to wire all of the controls that you're going to find in the field. In this classroom, you will be working with automated controls. So we have everything from push button logic to relay logic. In this classroom, you're here for 24 weeks. There's a lot of hands-on. It's all hands-on in this classroom. So you're going to start off with learning how to draw and read one-line diagrams going into ladder logic diagrams. Moving on from there, you will go into wiring the actual controls, and it's a step-by-step -step process. We start off slowly. Uh, we're going to start off with just starting and stopping a motor. And from there, we're going to advance into more technical aspects of what you're going to see in everyday jobs. So it's a great opportunity and to really get in and actually physically wire components, to actually touch them, to be able to torque them down, to feel that uh, physical stress of all these devices. It's a key component when you're out in the field. So this is the second classroom. This is a continuation of motor controls. In this classroom, we're gonna be looking at PLC and uh, this is programmable, programmable logic controllers and then going into temperature control. In this classroom, you're gonna be going from an analog into a digital base criteria. So we're gonna practice what we preach in this classroom. Everything that you have that has a potential is gonna be covered up in an enclosure just like you would see in the field, making sure that safety is always top priority. Everything else that you're gonna have is of a lower voltage and control situation. So with this, you're gonna be able to go in and replace a lot of the components you have next door with more of a program-based logic, which means you're gonna be pulling out laptops and learning how to do the actual programming on this equipment. 
In this classroom, we're going to learn about services. So here we have our service transformers as, long as, uh, as well with our panels. And you're going to learn how to connect the transformers feeding into the service. There's also a lot of grounding issues that come into place in this part of the distribution. So this is a, a very intense part of the training where you start learning how a building gets power and how you distribute that throughout the building. We constantly change voltages throughout this distribution, so you learn that through the transformer calculations on how to size the proper transformer and also how to make sure that a building achieves the proper power requirements that it needs in order to run smoothly. The classroom was fascinating. The place is beautiful. Thank you. It seems like you've thought of everything, so I appreciate that. Again, you know, we want to think of our electricians and the people coming into our homes and our business um, as being very well qualified, and I can certainly see that they are here. Absolutely. Who, who do you, who's applying? How do you go through the application process? How do I get involved with this? Okay, we have an open application process here. Uh, you can come here on any Tuesday. Our applications start from 8 o'clock until noon, and then we shut down an hour for lunch, and we come back from 1 to 4 o'clock. Uh, anybody can apply. We encourage everybody to apply. The only restrictions are that you need to be 18 years of age by the time of being offered the opportunity to get into the program. But there are some qualifications for the application. Uh, you're going to have to have a high school diploma or a GED equivalent. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to have a birth certificate. You're going to have to have a valid driver's license. And you're going to have to have a C average or better in high school algebra. And transcripts are required for that. That's All right. great. It's a three-step process. Uh, you fill out the application, you get back the information to me. After that, you'll be taking an aptitude test. The aptitude test is two subject matters. It's reading comprehension and it's high school algebra. Uh, once you complete that and the scores come back, if you get a composite score of a four out of a possible nine, you go to what we consider step three. Step three is the interview process. You get 15 minutes in front of a panel to uh, answer questions and then to impress those individuals on why you should be a great candidate for the apprenticeship program. Mm -hmm. uh, the apprenticeship program typically starts in May and, uh, and then we see you take off into the next four or five years depending on what program you get into. That's great. I'm pretty confident I get through the interview portion. I'm not too sure I get through the algebra por portion. I think right. we underestimate how much math is involved. You know what? Into marketing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's un you know what? A lot of people come into the apprenticeship programs uh, not anticipating the amount of work that they're going to have, but so much theory is uh, science and math based and mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff that we do, I mean you can see all the equipment behind yeah. us. Yeah. It's all about Absolutely. conduit pipe bending and all of it can be explained with, with trig and algebra and math. And uh, we get down to, the, uh, you know, down to the nuts and bolts of making sure that uh, these guys understand how to uh, accurately make uh, precise bends. And, and what's the cost for all this? You know what's amazing about this program is mm -hmm. that uh, is the there this is, is the literally no cost to uh, the apprentice whatsoever. Wow, I mean, there's wonderful. a $20 application fee. I'm not gonna lie to you on that. And there's a $400 uh, dollar school fee, mm -hmm. but I will tell you that when you enter the program, I'll give you over $450 of brand new tools, and then the books uh, for every year, uh, you're, make, you're making out on this deal uh, as far as having not to pay any type of a tuition. I mean, I have a $1.3 million annual training budget. Wow. Uh, we find our funding through the collective bargaining agreement, uh, so there is really no cost to uh, anybody uh, because we have found a way to get that into our organization. That's costs awesome. associated with the training. That's awesome. You guys are really training our future workers. And that's, we believe so. I, I can't thank you enough for doing that. It's, it's, thank you for inviting us in. And we've yes. been talking about it for a thank while, you. so we're so glad we could come in and see what you do. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Thank you. We'll be right back with Business Connection.